Hello students, welcome to Affairs Cloud. My name is Vikas. We have an app by the name Careers Cloud which you can go and download through Play Store. Once you have downloaded the application, you will be able to easily log in using your Gmail ID. Once you have logged in, you will be redirected to this page where you will be getting this UI and there will be option for home, all courses, my courses and doubt section. On this application, you will be getting multiple PDFs, multiple content on daily basis that will be enhancing your learning. Our first segment is daily current affairs. We make sure to provide you current affairs on daily basis in both English as well as in Hindi content. The PDFs for the same are uploaded on our application. And apart from this, we also make sure to provide you with quizzes that will help you to revise the content after you have gone through the PDF. Next comes our weekly content. The content is also provided in both English as well as in Hindi. And here we also make sure to provide you quiz also of that past week's current affairs that will be enhancing your learning as it is a compilation of the important topics, important MCQ questions for the last week. Similar for the monthly, the PDFs are very important. They provide you insights of various topics as well as we also make sure to provide you the quiz of monthly questions that are very important for learning. Next, we also provide you with important PIB articles on daily basis so that you can go through these particles and have an insight about that particular topic. Not just this, we also make sure to provide you important events that are happening globally and make sure to give you the right analysis. One of the most important segment of our application is that we make sure to provide you with the correct exam analysis. When you are having exam, we make sure to provide you with the previous year questions so that the student can go through the exam pattern and the syllabus and can prepare the exam accordingly based on the pattern. After the exam, we also make sure to provide you with the exam analysis. Then for the students who are preparing for state exams, they will be also beneficial here as we will make sure to provide with state wise current affairs for them. Apart from this, we also make sure to cover the topic wise current affairs such as your national affairs, government schemes, international affairs, banking and finance, economy and businesses as these are the topics from which the examiner definitely asks the question and these are covered on the monthly basis. So friends, do check our application. It will be a one stop solution for learning. Hello everyone. So in this video, we will be discussing important current affairs for 18th and 19th of Feb. Let's start. First is President of India Draupadi Murmu Ma'am has given assent to the public examination that is the prevention of unfair means bills for 2024. Remember, we know that in government exams we have seen multiple cases when the paper was out. Correct, multiple malpractices were followed by various individuals in order to clear the government exams. In various exams such as your UPSC, SSC, RRB, NTA that is your National Teaching Agency exams then ibps correct in these department recently prevention of unfair means bill 2024 that is your public assent to the public examinations bill for 2024 has been given assent by Draupadi murmu ma'am under this bill or we can say the main objective of this bill is basically to provide transparency and fairness within the public examination system and the aim here is to assure the youth that their sincere efforts will be fairly rewarded securing their future then under this, remember, there are some of the penalties such as the offenders under the bill will face several penalties that include imprisonment ranging from 3 to 10 years and fines ranging from 10 to 10 lakh rupees to 1 crore rupees. See, this is one of the most important steps that has been taken by the government in order to make sure that the hard work of the students who are studying for long hours, say for 10 to 12 hours on daily basis for years, Correct. And someone who just by cheating secures these exams to prevent that this step has been taken and this will be very beneficial to all the hardworking students. Correct. Take a note of this. Right. As the, and it, the bill objective is to basically provide transparency, fairness and credibility within the public examination system. And it aims to assure the youth that their sincere efforts, their hard work will be fairly rewarded securing their future. Moving on, next is AHIDF. What is this AHIDF? AHIDF is your Animal Husbandry Infrastructure Development Fund Scheme. I repeat, Animal Husbandry Infrastructure Development Fund Scheme. This was launched 
by whom so recently this scheme was launched by purushottam rupala right he is our union minister of fisheries animal husbandry and dairy correct then this ehidf this was launched on 24th of june in 2020 by prime minister narendra modi under atmanirbhar bharat abhiyan initiative with an outlay of 15000 crore rupees correct then if we talk about this ehidf scheme this scheme will encourage investment in the animal based processing plant uh, products such as your dairy meat animal feed plant breeding multiplication farms right agriculture waste management their drugs and vaccination for those production of these animals correct then under this ehidf scheme multiple subsidies will be provided loans of up to 90% of the project will be provided by scheduled banks at low interest correct and the beneficiaries will get a credit guarantee of up to 25% of the term loan and multiple other benefits will be provided here so that the animal husbandry sector here grow correct to develop the infrastructure for the same because once the infrastructure is developed the the products that will be made from these infrastructure can cater a wide range of audience right moving on here you can say on 14th of feb union minister prushottam rupala our minister or union minister of fisheries animal husbandry and dairy launched the realigned animal husbandry infrastructure development fund scheme at new delhi and he has also released a radio jingle that is the advertisement music on ehidf next next is government of india has announced the first ever national creators award for the new age influencers and creators i repeat government of india through their citizen engagement platform that is my gov they have announced the first ever national creators award to recognize and celebrate the contributions of new age influencers and content creators and celebrate india's digital creator economy the award will recognize the outstanding creativity and innovations across over 20 categories in diverse sectors such as education social change environmental sustainability gaming and much more correct next next is india signed an mou with which country on sharing the india's open stack dpi what is this dpi stands for dpi what is your dpi here digital public infrastructure digital public infrastructure so india recently signed an mou with colombia on sharing india's open stack digital public infrastructure this digital public infrastructure is basically indian stack that includes your aadhar card that includes your upi launched by npci right then this includes your digi locker and multiple other facilities that helps to take care of such a large population in india so that similarly these digital infrastructures can be adopted by colombia and they can also cater to the demand of the so here you can see india and colombia they signed an mou on sharing india's open source dpi that is digital public infrastructure and this indian stack solution implemented at a population scale for digital transformation in colombia right so we can say colombia was inspired by the technological advancement and the policies and the services that india is providing for their citizens to cater the huge population and similarly colombia also also want to implement the same in their country next who chaired 62nd session of the commission for social development so who chaired this commission for social development 62nd session of the commission for social development so ruchira kamboj right india's permanent representative india's permanent representative to united nation ambassador ruchira kamboj chaired the 62nd session of the commission for social development this was held from 5th to 14th of feb in 2024 at un headquarters in new york and india chaired the session of this commission for social development for the first time since 1975 and this was chaired by our india's permanent representative to un ruchira kamboj right here you can see ruchira kamboj correct and 
शी चेयर द सेशन फॉर इंडिया फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम सिंस 1975. नेक्स्ट थिंग रिमेंबर दिस इज योर सिक्सटी सेकेंड सेशन राइट सिक्सटी थर्ड सेशन ऑफ दिस सेशन ऑफ कमीशन फॉर सोशल डेवलपमेंट विल बी चेयर बाय हूम दिस विल बी चेयर बाय पोलैंड करेक्ट एंड दिस विल बी इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव राइट देन रिमेंबर ड्यूरिंग दिस इंडिया अडॉप्टेड फोर इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स राइट वॉट आर दोज फर्स्ट रेजोल्यूशन ऑन प्रमोटिंग केयर एंड सपोर्ट सिस्टम फॉर सोशल डेवलपमेंट सेकेंड रेजोल्यूशन ऑन सोशल डायमेंशन ऑफ द न्यू पार्टनरशिप फॉर एफ्रीकाज डेवलपमेंट थर्ड रेजोल्यूशन ऑन द प्रायरिटी थीम ऑफ द सिक्सटी थर्ड सेशन ऑफ द सी ओ एस डी दैट इज योर कमीशन फॉर सोशल डेवलपमेंट एंड फोर्थ रेजोल्यूशन ऑन द प्रायरिटी थीम ऑफ द कमीशन ऑफ सोशल डेवलपमेंट फॉर सिक्सटी सेकेंड सेशन सो दीज आर द फोर इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स विच वर अडॉप्टेड बाय इंडिया नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज बैंकिंग एंड फाइनेंस एल आई सी दे हैव रिसेंटली लॉन्च अ न्यू इंश्योरेंस स्कीम फॉर चिल्ड्रन एंड इट इज नोन एज एल आई सी अमृत बाल प्लान एट सेवन फोर आई रिपीट एल आई सी अमृत बाल प्लान एट सेवन फोर दिस इज द न्यू एल आई और न्यू प्रोडक्ट लाइफ इंश्योरेंस प्रोडक्ट लॉन्च बाय एल आई सी दिस प्लान इज डिजाइन टू मीट द हायर एजुकेशन एंड अदर फाइनेंशियल नीड्स ऑफ अ चिल्ड्रन एंट्री एज हेयर इज थर्टी डेज टू थर्टीन ईयर्स एंड मेचोरिटी विल बी हेयर फॉर एटीन ईयर्स टू ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स करेक्ट नेक्स्ट थिंग रिमेंबर इफ वी टॉक अबाउट दिस प्लान एज इट इज सेट दैट इट इज टू मीट द हायर एजुकेशन एंड अदर फाइनेंशियल नीड्स ऑफ द डिमांड द प्लान ऑफर्स रिस्क कवर ऑन द लाइफ ऑफ द चाइल्ड ड्यूरिंग द पॉलिसी टर्म इट फैसिलिटेट्स द अक्यूमुलेशन ऑफ कॉर्पस थ्रू अ गारंटेड एडिशन ऑफ रुपीज एटी पर हंड्रेड बेसिक सम एंश्योर थ्रू द पॉलिसी टर्म जस्ट कमिंग बैक रिमेंबर एंड द प्रीमियम्स दैट यू विल बी पेइंग अंडर दिस पॉलिसी आर एग्जेमटेड फ्रॉम द टैक्स अंडर द ए टी सी ऑफ द इनकम टैक्स एक्ट ऑफ एटीन नाइनटीन सिक्सटी वन देन इफ वी टॉक अबाउट एल आई सी इन टर्म चेयरमैन हेयर इज सिद्धार्थ मोहाटी हेड क्वार्टर इज इन मुंबई महाराष्ट्र एंड इट वॉज एस्टेब्लिश इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सिक्स एंड रिमेंबर इट इज एल आई सी दैट इज लॉन्च दिस एल आई सी अमृत बाल प्लान एट सेवन फोर नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज इकोनॉमी एंड बिजनेस सी आई ए एल एंड बी पी सी एल दे हैव साइंड एन एम ओ यू टू सेट अप वर्ल्ड फर्स्ट ग्रीन हाइड्रोजन प्लांट विद इन एन एयरपोर्ट आई रिपीट कोचिन इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट लिमिटेड एंड भारत पेट्रोलियम कॉरपोरेशन लिमिटेड दे टूगेदर साइन एन एम ओ यू एंड दिस एम ओ यू वॉज टू सेट अप वर्ल्ड फर्स्ट ग्रीन हाइड्रोजन प्लांट ग्रीन हाइड्रोजन प्लांट दैट विल बी विद इन एन एयरपोर्ट एंड विच इज दैट एयरपोर्ट इट इज कोचिन इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट लिमिटेड राइट कोचिन इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट लिमिटेड देन रिमेंबर अंडर दिस एम ओ यू अ हंड्रेड वन थाउजेंड किलो वॉट पायलट प्रोजेक्ट विल बी इस्टेब्लिश एट द एयरपोर्ट प्रेमिस ऑफ द कोचिन इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट दैट इज इन एर्नाकुलम केरला करेक्ट टेक अ नोट इफ वी टॉक अबाउट बी पी सी एल बी पी सी एल हु इज द चेयरमैन एंड मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर जी कृष्णा कुमार वेर इज द हेड क्वार्टर ऑफ बी पी सी एल इट इज इन मुंबई महाराष्ट्र एंड एट चेन्नई इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट लिमिटेड चेन्नई इंटरनेशनल एयरपोर्ट लिमिटेड करेक्ट दे विल बी सेटिंग अप अ पायलट प्रोजेक्ट ऑफ वन थाउजेंड किलो वॉट वेयर ग्रीन हाइड्रोजन विल बी प्रोड्यूस्ड राइट एंड इट विल बी द वर्ल्ड फर्स्ट ग्रीन हाइड्रोजन प्लांट विद इन एन एयरपोर्ट नेक्स्ट अकॉर्डिंग टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री बरगंडी प्राइवेट हिडन इंडिया फाइव हंड्रेड लिस्ट विच इज द मोस्ट वैल्यूएबल कंपनी ऑफ इंडिया फॉर द थर्ड कॉन्सिक्यूटिव ईयर इट इज रिलायंस इंडस्ट्रीज लिमिटेड राइट इट बिकेम द इंडिया मोस्ट वैल्यूएबल कंपनी फॉर थर्ड कॉन्जिक्यूटिव ईयर मार्क दिस राइट एंड दिस डाटा वॉज रिलीज वेयर इट वॉज रिलीज इन द ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री बरगंडी प्राइवेट हिडन प्राइवेट ह्यूरन इंडिया फाइव हंड्रेड लिस्ट राइट लेट मी शो यू हेयर दिस इज द ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री बरगंडी प्राइवेट ह्यूरन इंडिया फाइव हंड्रेड लिस्ट एंड इन दिस रिलायंस इंडस्ट्रीज लिमिटेड हैज सिक्योर द मोस्ट वैल्यूड कंपनी फॉर द फर्स्ट पोजिशन और द टॉप पोजिशन एज इन द वोस्ट मोस्ट वैल्यूड कंपनी फॉर द थर्ड कॉन्जिक्यूटिव ईयर द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस आर आई एल वॉज टू बी क्लोज टू फिफ्टीन लैख सिक्सटी फोर थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी सिक्सटी थ्री करोड़ रुपीज देन आर आई एल वॉज फॉलोड बाई टी सी एस दैट इज योर टाटा कंसल्टेंसी सर्विसेज विद द वैल्यू ऑफ 
ट्वेल्व लैख थर्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड टू टू नाइन करोड़ रुपीज फॉलोड बाई एच डी एफ सी बैंक ऑन थर्ड पोजिशन राइट देन इफ वी टॉक अबाउट ह्यूरन रिपोर्ट ह्यूरन इंडिया वॉज फाउंडेड इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व हु इज द फाउंडर एंड चीफ रिसर्चर हेयर अनास रहमान जुनेद एंड द हेड क्वार्टर इज इन मुंबई महाराष्ट्र नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज नेम द पर्सन ऑफ सिख रेजिमेंट कन्फर्ड विद वशिष्ठ सेवा मेडल फॉर ऑक्टोकॉप्टर डेवलपमेंट आई रिपीट नेम द पर्सन ऑफ सिख रेजिमेंट कन्फर्ड विद विशिष्ट सेवा मेडल फॉर ऑक्टोकॉप्टर डेवलपमेंट सो हविलदार वरिंदर सिंह राइट लेट मी शो यू इन द पिक्चर्स हविलदार वरिंदर सिंह एज यू कैन सी मेयर इन द पिक्चर वॉज अवॉर्डेड विद वशिष्ठ सेवा मेडल फॉर द इनोवेटिव ऑक्टोकॉप्टर डेवलपमेंट राइट दिस ऑक्टोकॉप्टर बेसिकली एज द नेम सजेस्ट इट इज अ ड्रोन करेक्ट इट इज अ ड्रोन दैट वॉज अ मल्टीपर्पज ऑक्टोकॉप्टर ड्रोन he was one of the 100 and uh, he was one of the 130 wishes seva medal awardees announced by dropde murmu ma'am on 25th of january 2024 and he was honored with this then this multi copter drone this is capable of conducting surveillance operations grenade dropping aerial target engagement with ak47 weapons logistics operations and multiple other multiple other facilities correct and this was developed by Harvinder Singh uh, Halwaldar Virinder Singh for the Indian Army for which he was honored with this Vishisht Seva Medal Take a note Next Science and Technology Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency that is JAXA they have successfully launches or launched H3 rocket correct i repeat JAXA they have successfully launched the second H3 launch vehicle from the japan and this h3 rocket was developed by jaxa along with mitsubishi heavy industries limited so just remember h3 rocket was recently launched by which country it was launched by japan and they fast about the space agency which launched it it was launched by h uh, jaxa that is japan aerospace exploration agency jaxa next next comes your environment a new species of dems fly has been recently discovered in kerala and this species was discovered from the western ghats in trivandrum kerala now this dems fly new species of dems fly was named as phylonura rupestris rupestris i repeat phylonura rupestris this is the new name or the this is the scientific name of the dems fly that was recently discovered in trivandrum kerala next is your important days global tourism resilience day was observed on 17th of february and it is observed across the globe to recognize the importance of fostering resilience in the tourism industry right tourism is or we can say tourism sector it is one of the important source of income for multiple people in multiple destinations right so this global tourism resilience day observance emphasizes the necessity to address and navigate the shocks considering the inherent vulnerability of the tourism sector to the emergencies that means during the covid-19 everything was shut down right and the economy such as sri lanka which was heavily dependent on tourism sector had a huge impact on them correct so this day is observed basically to make sure that whenever there are such emergencies the tourism sector is heavily impacted and to absorb those shocks during that time we should make some or we should create awareness about the same right first ever global tourism resilience day was observed on 17th of feb in 2023 correct and this year this is the second edition of this day next next is state news haryana's chief minister manohar lal khattar launched one mitra scheme and portal to encourage community in participation for the plantation one mitra as the name suggest one means forest right mitra means friend correct this is a scheme that encourage community participation in tree plantation correct so this scheme one mitra was launched by whom it was launched by haryana state if the name of chief minister is asked who is the chief minister of haryana manohar lal khattar and families with an annual income of less than 
वन पॉइंट एट लैख रुपीज़ कैन जॉइन द स्कीम एंड द एलिजिबल पीपल हेयर आर हु कैन बिटवीन द एज ऑफ एटीन टू सिक्सटीन कैन रजिस्टर एंड बिकम वन मित्रास करेक्ट नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज ओडिशा कैबिनेट दे हैव अप्रूव स्वयं स्कीम सो वन मित्रा लॉन्च बाय हरियाणा स्वयं स्कीम इज ऑफ ओडिशा एंड वॉट इज दिस स्वयं स्कीम स्वयं स्कीम इज टू प्रोवाइड इंटरेस्ट फ्री लोन टू द अनएम्प्लॉयड यूथ आई रिपीट स्वयं स्कीम दैट इज स्वतंत्रता युवा उद्यमी स्कीम दिस इज टू प्रोवाइड इंटरेस्ट फ्री लोन टू द अनएम्प्लॉयड अंडर एम्प्लॉयड यूथ एंड टू प्रोमोट सेल्फ एम्प्लॉयमेंट अमंग द यूथ इन Odisha under this scheme the eligible youth in the age group of 18 to 35 residing in both rural and urban areas of Odisha can unveil a loan of up to 1 lakh rupees to start a new business or expand their existing ones right this scheme swayam mitra or this scheme swayam was launched by Odisha then van mitra was launched by Haryana correct and last news that you need to remember is जस्टिस एन वी अंजारिया हैज बिन अपॉइंटेड एज द चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ कर्नाटका हाईकोर्ट आई रिपीट जस्टिस एन वी अंजारिया अपॉइंटेड एज द चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ कर्नाटका हाईकोर्ट ही विल सक्सीड हूम ही विल बी सक्सीडिंग जस्टिस प्रतिनिधि श्री वस्चार्य दिनेश कुमार हु इज विल रिटायर ऑन ट्वेंटी फोर्थ ऑफ फैफ ट्वेंटी करेक्ट सो कमिंग बैक एन वी अंजारिया जी हैज बिन अपॉइंटेड एज द न्यू चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ कर्नाटका हाईकोर्ट सो फ्रेंड्स दीज वर योर इंपॉर्टेंट करंट अफेयर्स फॉर द डे Now let's move to some one-liner revisions. President Draupadi Murmu ma'am gave assent to public examinations prevention of unfair means bill 2024. Union Minister Prushottam Rupala has launched the realigned AHIDF scheme. Government of India announces the first ever National Creators Award for the new age influencers and creators. India and Colombia signed an MOU on sharing India's open source APIs. Ruchira Kambuj of India chaired 62nd session of the Commission for Social Development. LIC launched a new insurance plan that is LIC Amrit Bal Plan 874 for their children. Then CIAL that is Chennai International Airport Limited and Bharat Petroleum BPCL that is Corporation Limited they have signed an MOU to set up world's first green hydrogen plant within an airport. Then 2023 Burgundy Private Huron India 500 list was released. and ril has topped the most valued indian company for the third consecutive year then havildar virender singh of sikh regiment was conferred with vishesh seva medal for octocopter development this is a drone multi purpose drone then jaxa that is japan aerospace exploration agency they have successfully launched h3 rocket then a new species of dams fly was discovered in trivandrum kerala global tourism resilience day was observed on 17th of feb Haryana's Chief Minister Manohar Lal Khattar launched One Mitra scheme and a portal to encourage the community participation in plantation. Then Odisha Cabinet approved the Swayam scheme that is to provide interest-free loans to the unemployed youths of India, uh, Odisha state. And Justice N V Anjaria has been appointed as the Chief Justice of Karnataka High Court. So, friends, these are the important current affairs for the day. If you find the session interesting, do like the video and comment below and let us know. what are your views for the same doing this will motivate me to make better content for you in the long run next let's move to some revision current affairs they will be very beneficial for your revision first question is second edition of india energy week was held where so we are talking about second edition of india energy week this was held from 6 to 9th of feb right question asked here is where was this held this was held in goa right take a note of this this was held in goa correct and that too in south goa this was held correct and during this india energy week remember international energy agency released a report that was titled indian oil market outlook for 2030 first thing second thing here remember niti ayog and the embassy of the netherlands released a report about lng transportation fuel in medium and heavy commercial and third remember india and qatar they recently signed their biggest ever deal worth 78 billion dollar 
and it is to supply and or basically we can say this was this deal was basically from for starting from 2029 till 2048 right take a note of so these are the few things that were observed during the second edition of india energy week that was held in goa correct here you can see second edition of india energy week held from 6th to 9th of feb next name the institution that has recently conferred with the president's color by the president of india Draupadi murmu map so which institution was honored with the president's color by the president of india Draupadi murmu map so which is that institution it is your armed force medical college right arms force medical college that is option four correct it was honored with president's color take a note of this and also remember to commemorate the armed force medical college platinum jubilee year president also released a commemorative coin of 75 rupees 75 rupees commemorative coin was also launched correct apart from this remember indian navy was the first institution or organization that received the president's color in the year 1951 correct then always remember president's color award ceremony is presided over by whom it is presided over by president of india correct next next thing can be asked is who is the supreme commander of the armed forces of india it is president and this is under the article 53 of the constitution next who has recently topped the first edition of india's top 200 self-made entrepreneurs of the millennia 2023 released by first private that is your private banking by idfc first bank and huron india who is he radha krishan shivikishan damani ji right he uh, he has topped the first edition of the india's top 200 self-made entrepreneurs of the millennia 2023 and this report was released by first private along with huron india he was followed by binny bansal and sachin bansal the co-founder of flipkart india and if we talk about the value or the net worth of Radha Krishan Shiva Krishan Damani, it is close to 2.38 lakh crore. Next, in which state the Hump World War World War II Museum was inaugurated in November? So the Hump World War II Museum was inaugurated in November. Where this was inaugurated in Arunachal Pradesh, right? In Arunachal Pradesh, Pema Khandu. The Chief Minister of Arunachal Pradesh recently inaugurated this Hump World War II Museum in Arunachal Pradesh and this is a second of its kind museum that is dedicated to the fallen airmen of the Allied forces who participated in the Hump airlift during the World War II. Right? Next. In December, high-level central committee headed by Union Minister of Home Affairs Amit Shah approved the recovery and reconstruction plan of rupees 1658 crore rupees for dash city or district so amit shah recently approved the recovery and reconstruction plan of 1658 crore rupees for the joshimat uttarakhand for joshimat uttarakhand right take a note of this as we know in joshimat there were multiple landslides during the rainy season and multiple uh, buildings were demolished during that time so for the same a recovery and reconstruction plan worth 1658 crore rupees was launched by Amit Shah for the reconstruction of Joshimat Uttarakhand next in December Dash is set to become the first airport in India to introduce the computer tomography x-ray machine for effortless screening experience it is Kame Govda International Airport Right, Kame Govda International Airport is set to become the first airport in India to introduce the computer tomography X-ray machine for effortless screening experience. Next, according to the quarter 3 2023 Merkam India rooftop solar report released by Merkam India Research in December, the rooftop solar installations in India registered a 34.7% year-on-year jump to dash megawatt in the third quarter of 2023. So, I repeat, 
According to the Merkam India Solar Rooftop released by Merkam India Research, the solar rooftop installations in India registered a 34.7% year on year jump to how much to 33 or to how much megawatt it is 431 megawatt in the third quarter of 2023 right so we generated a 431 megawatt in the third quarter of uh, 2023 that is from july to september right and with this increase in this much megawatt india has a cumulative rooftop solar capacity of 10.1 gigawatt by the end of september 2020 then in this remember is in the solar rooftops Gujarat is the state that has secured the top position and it is the best performing states in terms of rooftop solar installations also Gujarat is also known as the petro capital of India next is our homework section first Kana Tiger Reserve is in which state second where was the 16th world social forum 2024 meeting held Third, Mukhya Mantri Kanya Sumagala Yojana, seen in news, is an initiative of which state? Fourth, which bank clinched the title of the best technology bank of the year award? And fifth, which country is launching the dream of the desert train in the Middle East? So these are your five homework question, friends, and I need to see maximum participation from all the students watching this video. That's all for the day, friends. I hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the YouTube channel as well as apart from YouTube channel, you can go and follow us at Affairs Cloud Telegram channel. And if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application, you can contact us on the number provided that is 76773382. Apart from this, friends, you can follow us on the Facebook as well as on Instagram handle that is Affairs Cloud underscore official. In the end, friends, if you use a code that is Vikas10, you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code Vikas10. Also, if you have any problem regarding the course purchase, any problem regarding to our application, you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862. And if you want to mail us, you can also mail us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com. And I assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue.